What's going on guys? We are back with another pop report update number 67. We're going to be going over September 5th through September 11th. Um, if I sound kind of uh, scratchy it's because um, I got, I think I'm uh, kind of sick. Uh, so I've been coughing a lot. So I think uh, my voice may be a little scratchy, but that's it all right guys so we'll go ahead and start off uh psa uh psa graded a total of 194,107 cards this week uh which is a 74,940 card increase compared to last week when they graded 119,000 cards um so leading the way this week was tcg with 52,000 and then baseball with 44,000, basketball with 36,000, and then football with 33,000 cards. So PSA graded 194. So um, I do uh, kind of wonder where or what happened because if you guys remember maybe about two months ago, uh, you know they were grading consistently above 200,000 you know closer to about 225 to 250 and uh, recently they've been um, in the 100s you know last week they were at 120 and this week they're at 194 so just makes me wonder if uh, they've kind of gone through their backlog at this point and they're just uh, working on all the new stuff so it does make me wonder but that's all Moving on to CSG, uh, CSG graded a total of 4,353 cards this week, which is a significant drop off compared to last week when they graded 10,198, drop off of 5,845. Um, again, I think I've been saying this for a while now, their consistency to uh, <clears throat> is, <clears throat> is pretty bad um they're not very consistent at all uh what they'll what will happen is that they will grade um uh, low in the four or five thousand range and then they will spike up to twenty thousand twenty one twenty two thousand and then they'll you know slowly trend downwards back down to five thousand and they'll, they'll spike back up but with everything going on with psa uh opening up their uh bulk um submissions at $22 a card um, you know and then uh, with their recent price increase it does make me wonder if this time we're gonna be seeing something different instead of a spike up to 20,000 will we only see the spike up to 15,000 or 10,000 or will we not see a spike at all I don't know we'll see we'll see what, what happens next week so uh, historically next week is when we would see the spike for CSG so we'll we'll see what, what happens next week moving on to cgc graded a total of <clears throat> 17,029 cards this week which is actually an increase by a little bit over 1400 cards compared to last week so csg is doing all right all right moving on to the smaller com companies uh hga graded um their pop report changed significantly uh, this week. Uh, they added 65,260 cards to their pop report, uh, bringing their all-time total up to 421,506 cards. I don't believe they graded 65,000. I don't believe they graded um, nowhere near that. I think they're probably still consistently grading right around 1,000 cards, you know, 1,000 to 1,200. Um, what I do think what happened was last week on IG and on the uh, Facebook group I posted uh, I kind of called out HGA because HGA made a post on IG saying that um, they had just graded their 400,000 card and according to my numbers the ones that I've been doing they were at about 360 so uh, I called them out I, I sent them messages um, and what happened was, of course, Facebook, they trolled me. You know, the people in the Facebook, in the HGA Facebook group, they all trolled me, uh, you know, laughed at it, right? Um, but 
what I did notice this week is that their pop report has 421,000 cards now. So that's where I think the increase came from. I think is by me calling them out and where I think the difference was, was that uh, last summer, summer of 2021, HGA was grading approximately about 10,000 cards per week, you know, around 10 to 11, 12,000 cards per week. Um, and what happened was they took their pop report offline for about five to six weeks uh, to do some maintenance and updating, you know, and what happened was they never updated their their numbers so and I don't remember exactly what the count was at the time but they never uh, when they took their pop report down and they brought it back up they had the same number of cards in it so you know you know logic tells me that within that four you know five six weeks they were still grading cards at 10 to 12 thousand per week so they should have added those to the pop report but they never did so I think that's where the issue was. Um, they um, they sent me a message to email them, but uh, I'm not. Uh, I haven't had time to email them, so I probably will uh, email them this week, uh, and I'll keep you guys updated to see what they say. Uh, so moving on to Ace grading, Ace grading graded a total of 34 cards. Uh, which is a decrease of 35 cards compared to last week when they graded 69 cards. Uh, Ace grading primarily uh, only uh, grades uh, TCG cards, Pokemon cards, and they're based out of UK, so they have a very, very small uh, customer base there. Moving on to uh, CompC. CompC, in case anyone does not know, is a selling platform uh, online where uh, you mail them your cards and they catalog your cards and they post them on their selling platform to sell. And uh, you have con complete control of the price of how much you sell them for. Uh, there are fees associated with it. So uh, if anyone is in interested in uh, selling on ComC, do your homework you could definitely lose money as well because the fees are not cheap. Um, you know, they, they are cheap, right? They're only about, I think around uh, like 50 cents to a dollar per card uh, to put on there. But uh, when you mail in say 100 cards, 200 cards, that 50 cents starts to add up real quick. And if you don't sell your cards, then uh, you owe that money, you know, well, you don't owe it because you pay that money up front. So you lose out on that money. So, all right. So Comp C, they added a total of 11,632 cards, uh, unique cards to their selling platform this week. Uh, leading the way this week was football with 3,000 and then baseball with 2,700 and then soccer uh with 2600 and then basketball with 1200 so moving on to my slabs so my slabs of course uh is one of my favorite uh updates probably is my favorite update um and i do apologize because my computer is lagging a little bit here all right so my slabs uh graded cards they went down uh by 334. This week they have 119,324 graded cards for sale. On my slabs, last week there was 119,658. Uh, raw cards uh, went up by 73. This week there is 12,124. Last week there was 12,051 uh, raw card lots. Uh, this week there's 1216. Last week there was 1221, so it went down by five. And then the sold listings, uh, last week, there was uh, 1,430 sold listings. This is a combination of so uh, slabbed, raw, and raw card lots. This week, there is 1,321, which is a decrease of 109 compared to last week. Uh, slab cards, there was uh, 1,145 slab cards that were sold. Uh, raw was 164 and raw card lots. There was 12 of those. So 
All right, guys, that's it for this week's update. Update number 67 is in the books, September 5th through September 11th. So if anyone has any questions, let me know. All right, take care, be safe, and talk to you later. Bye.